method or by so using software. First, we will see the manual method. In this video, we will study what are all different steps. We will study the how to represent the object constraints as well as objective function in the form of a line and we will study solution by software also. Graphical method is the simplest method and we can easily use it for any type of maximization or minimization problem involving two variables. For problems having two or more variables, the simplex method is the um, best method. There is, there is a limitation of graphical method that it cannot handle more than two variables at a time, but we can handle n number of constraint equations. What we need to do is, we need to convert the constraint equations in the form of line using two point formula and we have to select a suitable scale so that we can represent it on a graph paper. Also, we need to convert the objective function in the form of slope intercept formula on the same graph paper and then we need to move the objective function line depending upon whether it is a maximization or minimization towards that extreme point. This graphical method will not give the will not only give the value of the objective function, but also gives the value of decision variables. Let us try to understand with this simple problem of maximization. The question is maximize z which is equal to 400 x 1 plus 300 x 2 and these are the three constraint equations which are given in the problem. Sometimes the non-negativity constraint is not given, but we have to assume because the solution given by this uh, different methods in operations research must be feasible and must be able to implement. It is not a pure mathematics problem and that is why we do not entertain any negative values of x1 and x2. So, this non-negativity constraint is always added though it is not given in the question. Now, we have in this question three constraint equations were given 3 x 1 plus 2 x 2 is equal to 120. Now, we have to identify two points lying on this line. So, that this can be this equation can be represented by line and the simplest method is first we assume x 1 equal to 0 then we will get the coordinates of x 2 then we assume x 2 equal to 0 we will get coordinates of x 1 and thus we get two points lying on this line. Similarly, we have solved the other constant equation by following the same method of first assuming x 1 equal to 0 and then x 2 equal to 0. Now, if you look at this points obtained thus, uh, which represents this three constant equation, the maximum value is 60 and therefore, based on the maximum values, we have to select a suitable scale. Here, we have selected suit, uh, suitable scale such as on x axis for x 1, 1 centimeter is equal to 6 units and on y axis for x 2, 1 centimeter is equal to 6 units. Similar to that, now we have to uh, convert that objective function also in the form of line and for that we have used the formula slope intercept formula y is equal to m x plus c. So, this given equation we have converted into this format here x 2 is y. So, we have taken here uh, this equation can be represented as minus 300 x 1 plus 400 x 1 minus z by rearranging the terms divide the entire equation by minus 300 and you will find the equation will be x 2 is equal to minus 400 upon 300 into x 1 plus z upon 300. Now, if you compare this uh, uh, with slope intercept formula, then you will find slope m which is equal to d y by d x which has the value of minus 400 by 300. Remember that this minus sign is neither for x nor for y, it is to only indicate that the slope is downward. So, we represent this z equation with the downward slope of 40 by 30 and here you will find by the red lines we have represented the constant equations we have, uh, as we have obtained the coordinates and this uh, objective function line is represented by blue line and you will find this is the point of solution and at this point the value of x 1 is equal to 30, value of x 2 is equal to 0 and the objective function z max is equal to 12000. Now, we will see how to solve the same question using software, solve this problem by software. Tora is the software which is used to solve the problems in operations research. This is the main menu as we have to solve the linear programming, we have to select that option. 
Once we click the linear programming, it will ask how many digits after decimal and integers. We have kept 5 and 2 by default and then we will go to input screen. Here we need to type the title of the problem. This problem is of maximization type. So, I will type the title as maximization. Then it will ask you how many decision variables are there. Uh, there are two decision variables and the constraint equation you have to type. Here please do not consider non-negativity constraint. Other than that we have three constraint equations and then you have to press tab on the screen this will appear. Here by you have to this is like a toggle switch either maximize or minimize. So, we will select a maximization problem and the coordinates of x 1 are 400 and coordinates of x 2 are 300. Then uh, write type the coordinates of x 1 and x 2 in the first constant equation it was 3 x 1 and plus 2 x 2 and it was less than or equal to 120. Second equation was 3 x 1 plus 5 x 2 is less than or equal to 150. Third equation was 8 x 1 plus 6 x 2 is less than or equal to 240. Then lower bound is 0 0 which will take care of non negativity constraint and there is no upper bound there is a, uh, that is why upper bound is taken as infinity. Then we will click on solve menu ok if you want to save this input data you can save and for solving this problem as we discussed there are two methods the algebraic method can be used for any number of variables and graphical method is to be used for two variables. So, first we will study graphical method again it will ask you the what is the, uh, the output do you want 2 digits after decimal and 5 integers. So, go to output screen here is the graph paper just you have to put click on the equation initially you will find this dot dots in the graph paper will indicate that entire space is a part of solution space. But once we click on first a constant equation you will find this constant equation is of less than type. So, only area below the line is a part of the solution space area above the line cannot represent is not a part of solution space. So, solution space got modified once the constant equation is added. Let us add the second equation again you will find once we add the second line we will find only that area is now a part of a solution space which satisfies both the equations. Similarly, we can add the third constant equation also and the final solution space is indicated by these dots. And if you click on line equation of z, z line will be plotted with the slope and then it will be extended and you will find the optimum value of the z is this 30 uh, passing through x 1 is equal to 30. So, this is how it is very simple uh, we can make use of the software. Uh, we will see how to make use of the software for various other types of problems when we discuss other techniques in operations research. Thank you for watching this video keep watching for the other topics also. Thank you very much.